Hello. Welcome to another physics video. Our topic today is electric potential. There are certain configurations of electric charge that create interesting electric fields. We will explore one such situation. Suppose we have two large, flat metal plates. We will make one plate have a positive charge and the other will be negative. It might look something like this. Suppose the plates are close enough together that they look very large to us. They are separated by a distance we'll call D. The top plate has a positive charge and the bottom one is negative. What kind of electric field do you think will be created by this arrangement of charges? I know that electric fields will point away from positive charges and towards negative charges. So, I think there will be a field that somehow points downward. That's a good start. But, before we can draw what it looks like, we need to think about what the field for two positive charges next to each other might look like. Suppose we zoom in on three positive charges in the middle of the long line of positive charges on the top plate. We know that the electric field will go away from each charge and we know the lines will appear to repel each other. Once we get a little bit away from the charges the lines look like they are parallel. That is an excellent observation. Don't forget that there is a line of negative charges beneath these that will be attracting these electric field lines. If we now zoom back out and look at the entire line of charges, here is what the field will look like. Notice that the lines are parallel to each other and travel from the positive plate to the negative plate. Now, what do you remember about the spacing between the lines? If the lines are far apart, the field is weak, and, if the lines are close together the field is stronger. Does that mean that if the space in between all of the lines is the same, that the field is the same everywhere? That is correct. If the spacing is constant, the field is constant. We call this a uniform electric field. Notice how this is very similar to the situation with gravity if we are near the surface of the Earth. If the Earth looks large and flat to us, then we say that the G field is uniform. That means that G equals negative 9.8 everywhere near the surface of the Earth. Now let's suppose that we have a single positive charge lying near the negative plate and we want to lift it and move it so it is near the positive plate. The uniform electric field will exert a constant downward force on the positive charge. We want to lift the charge so that it remains in equilibrium. So we have to match the force exerted by the electric field. Yes. When we have moved the positive charge all the way to the positive plate and it is at rest, it will have gained potential energy. The electric field applies a force equal to the product of our moving charge and the field strength. To maintain equilibrium for our moving charge, we need to balance the force from the electric field. How can we calculate the work done by our constant force? Work is the force times the distance the charge is moved. Excellent. So, if we substitute the force we must apply, the charge Q times the field strength, we get the work is equal to the charge Q times the field strength times the distance. The result of doing work is to change the energy of the charge. Since it is at rest, the energy gained has to be potential energy. We know the change in potential energy for our specific charge. We would like to have a quantity that describes how the plates will affect energy. We will call this new quantity electric potential difference because it tells us about changes in potential energy in an electric field. The electric potential difference, also called the voltage difference, is defined as the change in potential energy divided by the charge that was moved. Putting everything together, we get electric potential difference is equal to electric field strength times the distance between the plates. A storm cloud builds up negative charge on the bottom of the cloud. Then the electrons on the cloud repel electrons in the ground pushing them deeper into the ground, leaving a positive surface. An electric field is created between the cloud and the ground and a difference in electric potential exists between the ground and the cloud. 
This is a real-life example of the parallel metal plates. We can use the same equations to determine how strong the field is. See you later.